move on your health with concerns tonight about vaping, but this time they're coming from dentists. Some experts say inhaling nicotine could cause some young patients to lose their teeth. That's the root surface of the gums, inflamed, puffy, red, and even potentially bleeding. At the Cambridge Health Alliance, Dr. Alec Eidelman has seen this type of gum disease before. Most of those patients are older, many have smoked for years. But in just the past 18 months, the age of those patients has dropped dramatically. A lot of these patients happen to be from a very vulnerable population and those that are in their teens and adolescents. The sudden rise in vaping has created a new kind of crisis. When they're using it all throughout the day, where it's a little bit easier to refill the cartridges and to be doing it on a consistent and chronic basis, we might be seeing these signs of these early periodontal problems earlier on. One of those problems, it can slow down saliva, causing dry mouth. Without the salivary flow, the teeth and the gums are both compromised. As the damaged gum recedes, the root surface of the tooth is exposed. They have a little bit more cavities that can happen, they become loose, and they can even potentially fall out. In a recent study published in the journal PLOS One, researchers from the American Dental Association found that some flavored vapes, such as pineapple and cotton candy, may be just as dangerous to teeth as chewy candy and acidic drinks. Of course, dentists already know the long-term consequences of sugar and even nicotine on oral health, but Dr. Eidelman says he's even more concerned about what scientists don't know about vaping. We aren't necessarily fully aware of all the different chemicals that are in these vaping products. That's a big concern for patients at any age. The Massachusetts Dental Society recently released a statement supporting Governor Charlie Baker's decision to order a four-month ban on the sale of vaping products. The teen and adolescent population are really being marketed to the most, and we're very concerned about their well-being. Well, if you're experiencing dry mouth from vaping, you can talk to your dentist. They might be able to suggest some saliva substitutes like certain mouth rinses that can help reduce the risk to your teeth and gums.